Every day I get up at 5.30 to do my practice yeah. because I know I'm headed into a chaotic world where I'm going to hear a lot of good and bad things and I'm going to be challenged about my own worth. And unless I can bring myself to that environment in a steady and mindful way and to be present in the moment every opportunity I can, I can't help the people around me and lead them. Because of the the environment I'm in and the, and, and, and the way I work, I look at my calendar all the time. So right. you know, I have a constant calendar review going on. But I would argue that, you know, 10 years ago, what I did is I sat down. If you track your time just for two weeks and you look and you actually keep track of what you are doing, you'll notice all sorts of parts of time during your day where you're wasting your time. Yeah. And if you could put that together in one place, and for me, that was 5.30 in the morning, every morning, Mm -hmm. where I know, and the team around me knows, you're not going to get a hold of me. I'm not going to respond. You know, I'm going to be doing my thing. Um, that you know, if you put that, if you can put that together in one place, you can get it done. Right. And it's and 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 if you sleep better, and if you're more effective at work, and you're more mindful, and you're present, the meetings are shorter, mm-hmm. the rework <laughs> is gone, the people around you appreciate your leadership, yeah, and you have a better pl- you you have a better life. So when I get up in the morning, I have my my asana, and then I have my pranayama, and then I have my Vedic chanting, and I have my meditation. And, and I, the one that I always get a kick out of is, you know, asana, pranayama, and chanting are ways of stilling the mind and the body so you can sit in meditation and search internally for an extended period of time. Go on that journey. And people say, well, how do you block out everything right. for that long? In meditation. And meditation is not about blocking out all that stuff. Right. Meditation is about taking what comes, giving it appropriate reverence, and learning to let it go, to lose attachment to it. Mm-hmm. And so that's the practice. And so it may depend on what your day is. You may be going into work for a very right. stressful situation. That's going to come into your head. Give it yeah. what it's due and let it go. I have um, intractable neuropathic pain Mm -hmm. so my left arm feels like it's on fire all day long it never stops this minute right now it feels like it's on fire and the only way to control it is to control my sympathetic nervous system which means most people think I'm being zen because I'm really cool no it hurts when I'm not there's that immediate well there's a balance between the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system that's what you know helps manage your pain and because of my spinal cord injury I can't do that yeah. And and so, you know, I have this pain all the time. So this, you know, keeping your sympathetic nervous system under control is a great way to manage your pain. You have to have a practice to do it. So it spills into the whole rest wow. of my life. Wow. wow. And you don't take any medi- – you find that you can do it without medication. Yes. Yes, except for every once in a while um, a McAllen 18 or a Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of times I bring – um, um, you know, principles of yoga into the workplace, but I don't highlight them as principles of yoga. Right. They're just principles. Right. right. You know, I don't say, you know, this is, you know, you know, ahimsa. Um, you know, it's, you know, we're, we're, we're going, we're going to be very present today. Mm-hmm. And so I want all the machines off. Mm-hmm. And if you need to go use them, then, you know, we don't need you here. Because this is a moment where we're going to be focused. Mm -hmm. Um, And we need to be with each other and present for each other in order to get to the right place. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, know, being present in the moment. Now, most people, you know, don't have to associate it with yoga or the yoga tradition. But they get what the message is. And, And so I think you have to know your audience and you have to introduce these ideas in ways that's receptive to the people who are hearing them. Let them practice them. Mm-hmm. And as they go along, light bulbs go off. Right. As I did in my own yoga journey. And the employees of our company, you know, they should have a living wage. They should have you know, quality of life. And we shouldn't make their work destroy them. They're not tools of capitalism. Um, they really are an important part of our commitment to the people we serve. And if we do that right and make that investment in them, we're going to get it back tenfold. And I think the world is going to demand that corporations have missions and are mission driven not profit is not a goal profit is the output of a mission driven organization that delivers a consistent product to their customers 
And you can't do that without good employees and investing in them. And we can't have vibrant societies within which to run our corporations if we have people who are not making a living wage and can't afford the products and services we offer. And we can't continue to evolve as mankind unless we create better people and help them be better people. Because, you know, if you look around you, the, the lack of civility and the nature of the dialogue in today's society, you know, I would, I would lock my children up in their rooms for the kind of way people treat each other today in the public domain. And I just think it's intolerable. And we're sending very bad examples to the next generation on how to get things done. In my management team, across every management level of management, you're rewarded 50% on your scorecard. Did you hit your numbers? And the other 50% is did you behave properly in doing it as a leader? Mm-hmm. So you cannot get a, be a jerk and get paid. <laughs> you may be the smartest guy in the room, and you may have a point of view But unless you engage the collective people around you and learn from them, you are not going to be successful.